get off the right wheel. Please help me welcome, obviously, our president, Rashad Tafazoli. And our newly promoted director of product development, Beth Salomon. What's up, Five Links? That's still too low, okay. What's up, Five Links? Okay, how's everybody doing so far this morning? I love standing room only um, presentations. These are the best. I'm apologizing right off the bat. My last group already knows I lost my voice. I do this every event. So this is basically a Five Links tradition for me at this point. So how many of you guys are excited about credit restoration? Okay, we have got a ton we're gonna give you today on top of all the stuff that Frashad is gonna teach you guys on Friday, correct? Friday, he's got even more information for you. But we're gonna give you guys the basics right now that you guys are gonna build on tomorrow, okay? Okay. Okay, what's a credit report? How many of you guys have actually looked at your credit report? Okay, I'm still not seeing every hand. You should be looking at those credit reports for the simple fact that on a credit report, there is constantly something that is going to be in there on it that is incorrect. Because it could be a misspelling of your name. It could be an address you never lived at. It could be a credit card you never took out. It could be the fact that it says that you were late on a payment, but you know you made that payment on time. You want to dispute those, so that's why you need to be reviewing your credit report on a regular basis, right? Okay. How many are going to re review the credit report after this? I like it. Okay. Who's impacted by bad credit? Do we know who's impacted by bad credit? Everyone. Why does it impact us, though? It impacts us on the ability to get a home mortgage, to get a good car loan price, to be able to get a student loan for our child when they want to go to college, for just the ability to get a credit card with a decent rate. Who wants to be paying 25% interest on a credit card? Nobody. Nobody. Who wants to be paying maybe 4% interest on a credit card? Even better, who wants to pay 0% on a credit card? Exactly. The better your credit, the more likely you are to get that 0% credit. And that's what we want to help every single Five Links rep and their customers do. We want you all to be financially able to support, take care of your families without added fees from the banks because you have bad credit or made a mistake in the past. We want to help you correct that. Yeah, let me add, um, is this working? Hey everybody, thanks for coming out. This room is the making money room, right? We're gonna make some money with this product. We'll get into all that, but let me, let me give you the size of this market. Um, the fancy way to call it is the total addressable market. Uh, you've got hundreds of millions of, of uh, households and consumers in the US. 32% of them have a credit score under 600. That's a poor credit profile. If I take the total audience in the US, take everybody that's under that 600 credit score, Eliminate everyone that's uh, under 18. Uh, we're, we're looking at an addressable audience of 100 million plus people that should have a credit repair offering. So this is massive. We're diving into a big pool. What I love about this market is it's fragmented. No one company has greater than 5% of this market share, right? It's ripe for, for, for getting customers. Uh, as you'll see in between today's presentation and tomorrow, we did a, a, a compelling job of creating a great value proposition at the right price point with all the value adds that you need to sell this. So thanks for coming. You're in the right place. Uh, we're going to continue to take you through this presentation. But when Beth says who's impacted, it's a lot of folks that are impacted, right? We, we all know somebody with a poor credit profile. We all know somebody that uh, is going out looking for an apartment, going out looking for a house, going out looking for, for uh, a, a mortgage, whatever financial decision they're making, they're impacted by it with their credit score, right? So this product, ultimately, I want you to feel good about it. 
You're going to help people improve their respective lives. Rather than pay that 25% interest that she talked about, you're going you're to help them pay reasonable rates that aren't uh, obnoxious. Back to you, Ben. Thanks. Yeah, that's exactly it. We want to help everybody, and that's what our end goal is. Oh, somebody's ringing. They want to hear the training, too. <laughs> okay, so like Prashad said, typical breakdown of a credit score. 720 or higher, excellent. Believe it or not, there are people who have it, but there's not that many. Um, you got 660 to 719 is good. There's where a lot of people do fall, but they want the excellent if they want that better credit score. So they still can use improvement as well. We've got the fair, where a majority fall between the fair and the poor. And that, those are the people who desperately need what you guys are going to be able to offer them. We want them to get, get from poor to fair, fair to good, good to excellent. And with this service, six to nine months, we can help them see an impacted, impacted um, escalation on that credit score. That's huge. Six to nine months may seem like a long time, but it definitely is worth it in the end when you don't want to pay 25% and you want to pay 5%. Zero percent. Let me, let me just add to that. What she just said is really important. The, the average customer lasts eight to nine months. We're talking about a $20 CV product. This is going to have a big impact on your, on your checks. I was saving that for you tomorrow. But how can we mess this up? How do we mess this up? Do not sell this as this magical box that you, you sell someone, they enter their information, and 30 days or 60 days later, their credit is improved. That is not what we're selling. It takes years, sometimes decades, for somebody to mess up their credit, right? It will take eight to nine months until they undo that mess. Sell this product as that. This is not a fix your credit magical box. This is a, 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 a systematic method and platform that will improve your credit score, but it's going to take eight to nine months. Sell it that way. And just so you know, I wasn't going to tell you the CV. I was saving that for him for the stage tomorrow. So he already blew his one big thing for tomorrow. <laughs> okay. I like this slide. It's not the best image, I apologize, but it shows you what states have the best rates or have the best scores and what states are at the bottom. Um, as you can see, Mass um, Hawaii's up there. I mean, it's expensive to live in Hawaii. I guess people really want to make sure their credit's good because they don't want to pay that high interest. Um, I was shocked New York State was on there. I mean, I know a ton of people with poor credit in New York, but the fact that we were on the top end was pretty impressive. Um, some of the lower ones though, we've got Alabama, we got um, Kentucky. I mean, these are places you guys can help, um, especially if it happens to be your market. So um, this is just an average of what the credit scores fall in those, in those different states. Okay, I like this slide, I really do. 11 things you can't get with bad credit. How many people like their cellular devices? Okay. If you have poor credit, no cell phone service is going to allow you to get one unless you pay for it outright because you're a risk. So guess what? Higher the credit score, the more likely you are to get that phone on a payment plan. If you don't, they're going to charge you up front and say, yeah, we don't trust you to make your payment every month. People who want to open a McDonald's, they have to have good credit. If you've got poor credit, they'll never sign them up. Um, people who want to get married, diamond rings cost a lot of money. <laughs> I found that out the hard way. Um, the ring I loved, couldn't get because we, could, we had the credit, but even still I'm like, yeah, you're not paying that much. We had the credit to get, we could get any ring I wanted. I still wasn't going to pay how much you wanted. I was, it was going to cost. Um, basically, cheap car insurance. Who wants to pay $300 for car insurance? Because your credit's bad. Even though you have an impeccable driving record, it happens. But if you've got good credit, you might be paying $100 on that car insurance. How many of you guys want to be SVP? How many of you guys want that luxury car that comes with being an SVP? 
guess what? If you don't have good credit, you're not getting your luxury car because you're not going to be able to finance it. Yes, Five Links will help you pay for it, but you're not gonna get the loan at the rate you need it to be to afford that nice luxury car. So if you want it, you've gotta work for it. Okay, um, I hate to say it, some employers will look at your credit score. It's a terrible thing to think about, and it's very embarrassing to walk in, even though you're the most qualified person for the job but because you've got a credit score that's under 600, they're going to pass you by and take the person next to you who may not be as qualified, but has a better credit score because they look at them as being more responsible and trustworthy. Even though you will be the best person, doesn't matter, your credit score just ruined it for you. We don't want that to happen for anybody. Okay. Um, oh, my favorite also, student loans. How many people have kids in college? or are in college themselves. Student loans are insane. When you think about going to college for four years for a degree and paying 60 to 80 to $100,000, who wants to be paying 25% on that? You want those 3% student loans because it's going to take you years, if not you know, decades, to get rid of that, get rid of that debt. My daughter's about to walk out of college in December, graduating early. I'm so glad she got rid of that one semester because her college loans are insane. But she's got great credit, so she's got a really low interest rate for those student loans, which is great. But she's also going into profession, she can afford them. <laughs> okay, here's some terms I want you guys to know about. Um, they're very important for you guys to know. A credit score is, it's a numerical summary of a credit for history, or of the credit history, utilization, Time of credit established and your risk. Time of credit or the time of a credit established could be that you've got your first credit card at 19, 10 years ago. If you've been good on that credit for 10 years, it's gonna help your credit. But if you go and then apply for a new card right then and there, that's a new one and that might hurt your credit a little bit. I'm not telling you not to go out and get credit cards. You need to. Helps build your credit in the end. But you should know that they look at all different factors, not just have you been on time with every single payment. They look at your balance, um, balance being the fact that um, you're only using maybe 25% of what's available to you. When you start using all of it, they wonder why. They're like, why did you charge $10,000 and maxed out your credit card this month? Are you gonna be able to pay that off next month? Or how long are we gonna, is it gonna be? So they do want, they recommend stay within 25%, believe it or not, of what your allowed uh, limit is, or pay it off. Number two, an installment loan versus a revolving tra trade line. Who knows what that means? Okay, a couple people raised your hands. That's actually a good thing that you know, but it's bad that you guys don't. Installment loan, those are your mortgage. I apologize. <laughs> I heard it. Um, an installment loan is your mortgage, it's your car payment. Those are things that do not change. Every month they will be the exact same amount. Your student loans. Revolving trade line is your credit card. So, because that's gonna vary, it's gonna be variable. One month your minimum might be $100, the next month it might be 200 because you put a ton of money on it the month before. So you wanna make sure you have a good balance of installment loans and revolving trade line. Um, type of services like your credit cards because it gives you a good mix and it really helps you with your credit score. Who knows what a hard pull is versus a soft pull? Okay, a couple people again. Again, we want all of you to understand this though. A hard pull is done by the credit card company. They are looking, it's a mortgage looking at you to get you approved, it's the car loan um, looking to see if you are eligible for what rates. Those are all hard pulls, so it's coming from a bank. Anything that's a soft pull is you going and just checking your credit report real quick on a karmacredit.com or um, you know just doing any of the ones through um, that are out there. But our new service will offer you something like that. Um, last but not least, lender versus borrower. Lenders are your banks, borrowers are you guys. So you wanna always know who are, who's your lenders. Who did you get your loans from? Because when you look at your credit score, 
if you all of a sudden say, wait, I had a Macy's card, why does it say this? Because believe it or not, just because it says Macy's, they've got a bank that's actually the lender. So you might see the same lender four times on a card or for four different cards because all of them go through the same bank. So all good things for you guys to really know and understand um, because our team is going to ask you and work with you on helping you know, talk with the lenders and making sure that you as borrowers are always borrowing correctly. Anything for you? Yeah, I would just add that this plat think of our platform as similar to what um, what uh, uh, some of the tax services tax software did um, so we've built an automated platform we pull the credit score we ask you to let us know what's accurate or what's not accurate and then we go out and we have discussions letter dialogue we have dialogue back and forth with the respective creditors so what Beth's describing is oftentimes we may not know um, exactly what that debt is. An example of it might be um, we would need, if it's a medical bill that we're disputing or if it's a hospital bill, for example, we would need HIPAA clearance. We'd need to understand what, what argument, what the best argument would be for us to have that negative mark removed from your respective credit score, right? The big takeaway for you guys is what we built is a white glove treatment platform, right? Pull the credit score, uh, request what you want disputed. Once you request what's been disputed, the, the letter mailing process, the <coughs> conversations with the creditors is automated. You don't, we don't need your involvement as the representative. We don't need your re involvement as the customer. Uh, a lot of that process is very automated, and you'll see some of the, those processes in tomorrow's presentation. Some of them are Okay, break down your credit score. 30% is the amount that's owed. Okay, so that's basically like I was saying, your $10,000 credit line, but you only used 2,000. That's what that 30% is. 35% is your payment history. So that's making sure you make your payments on time. And those are the things we wanna help you correct because it might say on your credit report you were late, but you know it was paid on time. Credit length, again, that's what I was talking about where you opened a card at 19 and you've had it for 20 years. Um, that's a good thing. They look, it looks as stable. Types of credit, so being it again, the um, revolving versus the installment. You want a good balance of those. And then new credit. So it's going out and applying for a new Macy's card or a new Visa through Capital One. So those are all included. Yeah, let me, let me just add to this slide. Um, so these are the various makeups. And uh, FICO and how they calculate a credit score has a lot of different inputs. We provide you with tools within our platform that are included. Um, so uh, we have a, a snowball calculator tool, we have an avalanche calculator tool, we have an auto finance calculator tool, a mortgage calculator tool, uh, effectively a debt reduction calculator that will guide you in uh, what bills do I pay and how much and in what order in, in order to maximize the most positive effect on my credit score. Right? So you'll see those within the platform. I'll show you some, some actual screenshots of those tomorrow as well. You're going to see a couple of them now, too. OK. Oh, I thought I skipped a slide. Sorry. OK. So why are we going with, why are we going to ask you guys, one, to use it for yourself, and two, to sell this to customers? So why Chroma Credit Restoration? Like Prashad said early, earlier, 34.2% of the US population has a subprime credit score. That's under 620. So I mean, I'm not asking anybody to tell me, but how many of you just want to improve your credit? Okay, it may not be because it's subprime. It might just be, hey, I wanna be excellent. I don't wanna be just good. But every one of you, I promise, knows at least one person, at least, who has poor credit. 
And it's going to be a hard subject to talk to people with, I promise you. Because nobody wants to sit there and admit, I messed up. I didn't do so hot when I was a teenager, or, you know, when I was in my 20s. Or, you know, had hard times. So I had to, you know, had to pay the mortgage because I wanted to have food or pay, buy groceries. Had to let the credit card payments go on the wayside. So it's a hard subject, but it's an important topic to talk about. On top of the fact that people want to improve their credit. They want to get more things. They want to be able to live in the lifestyle that they feel they deserve to live in. And everybody can afford to have something repaired on their credit. Even if you've got, you know, you're in the excellent level, there's probably something on there that's incorrect. I mean, it could just be a misspelling of a name. Your middle initial, I don't know how many times I've seen it in my life where my mom gets something in the mail, it's got the wrong middle initial. I get something in the mail, it's got the wrong middle initial. But that impacts your credit because they're like, whoa, it's one of your aliases. No, it's not. It's the bank making a typo when they typed it in. So very important, we want to make sure we share with everybody that it may not be anything major, but there are things that everybody needs to have fixed on their credit. Okay, real quick, because we're going to go over a lot of these real fast today and tomorrow. These are just the features that you're going to get. It's a pretty robust feature list, don't you think? Most of our services do not have that many items that one service offers to a customer for the price that we're going to charge. So there's tools for educating you. There, we're going to help you to dispute those credit issues. Um, we're going to work with the credit bureaus. Um, Kurt, you've got, um, you've got a great online portal that you guys are going to be able to see everything that's going on. The loan calculator, the deck um, payment collector calculator. Like Rashad mentioned, the snowball and avalanche repayment, you're going to love those. It shows you how you can best work paying off certain debts. Is it better to pay off the high interest first or the higher um, credit line first? So which one is going to make you the best savings in the end? Yeah, Beth, let me add a couple of things. So I'll, I'll highlight the recommendation letter. Um, if you have a customer that, and this is very typical, a, a lot of times folks that know you're selling credit repair will reach out to you when? Right after they tried to get a car and they couldn't, or right after they tried to buy a house and they couldn't. Those are the two <clears throat> big major life events that drive the need for this product. So they'll call you and say, hey, we got turned down for a mortgage and I need this service. Um, this recommendation letter is a letter of recommendation from Chroma Credit that says uh, we recognize that our customer is going through the application process with you. We want you as the lender or the mortgage company to recognize that we are concurrently taking them through the credit restoration process um, and that they can deliver that to their mortgage uh, broker. Big, big, big help. The other I want to emphasize is while we say TransUnion credit monitoring, um, one of the big selling points of this platform is um, as we get into the screenshots, uh, we can dispute and we do dispute uh, inaccurate marks, uh, issues with credit across all three credit bureaus. Who are those three credit bureaus? You might have heard of them. Equifax, TransUnion. You know. We don't like Equifax right now. <laughs> Let's go to the next slide. Okay. Okay. So this is just a quick exa example of what you or your customers will see as soon as you log in for the first time after signing up for credit restoration. It shows you what your current credit score is. I don't know whose credit score this is, we just made up numbers. But that's a pretty bad score, right? 555, we gotta do better. It'll show you how many items they need deleted, um, how many items um, have been reported, and anything negative that we wanna work on. And then it shows you on the bottom, it gives you a nice little breakout so they can track what's being worked on on their system. This one is great because it shows you the ongoing disputes that we're helping them work on. So things that we're getting ready to uh, create letters that we're going to send out to the different credit bureaus or the lenders to help get those items either removed 
or improved on your credit score. Yeah, if you look on the right side of the screen, you see Equifax, Experian, TransUnion. So very often, one will be fine. You know, in, in the top example, TransUnion looks acceptable, no issues reported. However, Equifax and Experian show negative marks associated, and we may dispute those. So, so we're concurrently having dialogue with the creditor as well as with all of the reporting agencies to make sure that all of them are repaired. This is why, again, I emphasized earlier, don't sell this as a fix your credit quick magical box. This takes time. There's a lot of heavy lifting that goes on in the background to undo the years of bad decisions, the years of, 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 of uh, negative marks that may have been impacted. And by no fault of anybody's, honestly, life happens. We get it. We want to improve it. Okay. So I've got more powerful, um, in-depth platform uh, features that you're going to get to use. You can track your, your existing credit accounts and inquiries. So you can see how many negative accounts there are. So how many times you had an issue, late payment, uh, defaulting on a loan, bankruptcies, all of those. The positive actions, though, also. So if you're somebody who's constantly on time with your payments, those are going to show for you. And then inquiries. Those are the things that people are looking into. They're researching further and in more detail for you. Yeah, this, this portion is particularly powerful. Um, we all went through the recession, the Great Recession, 08, 09. Raise your hands. <laughs> right? Um, so if you think something happened with respect to your credit score between January to December of 08, can't quite figure out what it was. You can go into that search uh, date period and look at and see exactly all the negative or positive marks as it relates to your credit score historically. So there's a lot of uh, valuable information across all three of the, the credit bureaus that you, you'll be able to derive from this tool. Okay. Um, I touched on this with somebody I was talking with the other day. We were walking and they were saying something about health insurance. This, there's a nice little tool built into um, our service. It's a health insurance estimator. So basically, we'll look at everything that you've got. It's going to compare policies and estimate cost scenarios for you. So it's just a nice little tool to kind of do some research with. It's not selling you insurance. It's giving you the tools to understand how to get the right insurance um, for you. Because again, your credit impacts your insurance if you're buying it on your own, right? Okay. How many of you have jobs outside of Five Links and maybe aren't happy in it but aren't ready to go 100% Five Links yet? This little tool will help you build your resume so that if you want to go out and find a better job until you can go 100% into Five Links. So it's a nice little tool. It's not something that you would think with the credit restoration service, but it, you know, it allows you, it's a tool that I know I've seen online that can cost you $20 a month to have one of these types of tools. It's included right into your uh, Chrome credit restoration service. Job search tools. You, I mean, and it actually looks at all of them. It looks at Indeed, it looks at, um, what was the other one? I can't even read on here. It looks at Monster. It looks at all the different search engines for jobs. And it actually gives you a list so you can see everything that's available in the field that you're looking at applying a job for. Doesn't necessarily have to do with your credit repair, but it is something that helps a person because as they're making more money, they're more likely to pay off their bills on time. So we thought it was a good tool to have available to the customers to help increase their credit. This is just a great little tool. It's under credit and financial news. It just gives you updates of things that are going on in the fin financial word world that are impacting, impacting people's credits. Um, just It's good tools. It's updated regularly. It's just a good information resource for you guys. But I want you guys to know that it's there because um, it's not just repairing your credit. It's getting you educated. And education is key with everything, right? Okay. Here's that wonderful letter of reference that Rashad mentioned. Again, 
They write a letter that you can hand off to your mortgage consultant who's helping you and you're letting him know that I'm working with somebody. I am doing my best so that I can improve my credit score so you can give me that great mortgage so I can go out and buy that home that I want for my family. Everybody wants to be able to supply. Everybody wants to be able to provide properly for their families. And by improving your credit, that's what we're able to do. Okay, mortgage tax savings calculator. This is just good because it kind of helps you um, understand the mortgage. So again, just another great tool. It can show you for a loan for, you know, looks like 280,000, uh, what your interest rate is, what the basic tax rate should be. So it gives you a monthly idea of what your mortgage is gonna be. Just a nice little um, tool for people who are up searching for mortgages. And then it breaks down and gives you that nice itemized um, over the life of your loan. So you may have taken out a $62,000 lo $62, loan, but you're actually going to pay in interest. It'll show you um, the breakdown of what is what, where the interest was, where it went into your PMI, if applicable, your, and all of that. So it's a huge help, too. Debt payment calculator. Okay, this is where I was talking. You can look at, say, I currently pay 200, or currently have a balance of $3,600 on my credit card. And it gives you what your payment should be, how long it's going to take you to pay that off. Granted, that's with not adding anything else onto your credit at that time. So not adding another, you know, putting more money on the credit card. And then it's going to tell you what the what you were going to pay over the loan or over the time of the period and how much of that was just interest. So again, where we want to get our credit line, credit scores higher so that we get the lower interest rates so that we're paying less in interest and we're paying off our debt quickly. Yeah, this tool helps you with those awkward conversations with your spouse of what if we paid this and what if we did that and what about if we paid a little more towards this. This tool is really impactful where you can look at all those what ifs. A chart is produced that shows how those debts would get paid down, how long it would take, when you can expect to be out of debt, and so forth. Okay. Same thing, loan calculator for an auto loan. You, how much you want to purchase the car for, what you're going to, your interest rate is that you know you're being approved for, uh, how many months you're taking out, and then it'll tell you what your payment's going to be every month. Um, so it kind of gives you a good idea of what you're looking at. For anybody who's out looking for a new car for their, st for their child who might need one, uh, getting ready to go off to college. Yeah, this tool's particularly impactful. Uh, the, the, in the mortgage business, there's truth in lending laws. I know we've got a lot of folks in real estate in the room. Uh, they're more, what does that mean? They're more transparent as you go for a mortgage. They let you know exactly what those respective fees are. The car business is a little more slick. <laughs> they add on fees. And so this is a, a, a truth check. When you, when you speak with an auto dealer and they say your payment should be, will be X, you can come back to your calculator. You can actually use it right from your cell phone, plug in the same numbers, and uh, more likely than not, you'll find that your calculator shows a lower number. Why? Because there are fluff fees that they've added in between, and you can, you can uh, have that dialogue with, with the respective dealership. Okay. <clears throat> I like this tool a lot. This one I think is really fun. So this is a tool that's going to help you determine which items you're going to repay first. So it basically is going to look at what you've got out there outstanding, how much you're currently paying, what the interest rate is on each item, and kind of balance out, okay, if you pay this one off, it'll be paid off here. If you pay this one off, it'll be paid off at this point. So if you look, you've got a car loan with $4,500 balance. You're paying $200 a month with 4% interest. You've got a college tuition of uh, $19 plus thousand dollars. That you pay a minimum of $150, $150 on it at 5.5% interest. And then home repairs, maybe it's a home equity line of credit that you've got a balance on of almost 6,000. You pay 250 on that and you're close to 4% as well. So how do we want to balance it out and get paid off the best so that you pay the least? So what, how you want to do it? 
So basically this will look at, this one looks at paying off your, um, based off of interest. So you're gonna pay your car off first, you'll have it paid off by August of 2019. Your home repairs will be paid off in August of 2019 also. And then you'll have your college tuition pays off by April of 2020, 22, yeah. So it basically breaks down how you're gonna get paid off and making sure you utilize your funds the best. Meaning maybe put a little more towards the car payment, a little more towards home improvements, and pay the basic of your tuition. Okay. And it's paying off the least amount of interest. But what if you want to do it, you want to do this? You want to pay off the highest balance first and then not worry about the insur what the interest rate is. Because some people just want to get rid of that. I don't want to have $10,000 out there wait, being held up on my credit card. So this is gonna pay, oh no wait. Oh, this is average, this is the highest interest. The other one was the highest um, overall balance, sorry. So this you're paying off the interest rate first. Same scenario, you have four, five, and three. So which one do we think we're gonna pay off first? The highest. So we're gonna pay off our college tuition first. And in that case, now college tuition's gonna be paid off in March of 2000, and still the same order. Yeah, so, so in this case. I uh, didn't plug the numbers in, I apologize. This is, this is the efficiency of your money at work. This methodology keeps you from paying more interest. It prevents you from paying more interest. So more of your dollars go towards the principal as opposed to the interest. Again, these are, these are what if conversations. These, you now have the tools to make intelligent financial decisions in your life. And you can look at them through the avalanche method, you can look at them through the snowball method, and determine what makes the most sense for you. Okay. Okay, important FAQs, I want to see how many people know these things. We had the question a little while ago, how many credit bureaus are there? Three. Very good. What are the three credit bureaus? We got it. How long is it going to take somebody to improve their bad credit? Minimum. Minimum. Oh, well, that's a good number. Does paying off your bills require, or wait, does paying off my bills repair my credit? No. No. It will, it'll, it'll show that you are working towards it, but just paying off your bill, paying your bills does not necessarily repair your credit. Doing other steps and getting rid of those delinquencies will improve your credit. What items can we remove from our credit report? Does anybody know? Okay, right. We've got old payments, judgments. You might have a judgment on there. You didn't even know you had it on there. We can have that removed from your credit report. <clears throat> Collections, yes. Um, if you get, you can get a letter actually showing that something was never actually in collections. If you know it never went, but yet it's showing as a collection. Those are all things that we can remove from your credit report. Okay, and because I know we only have a little bit of time, um, our last slide is basically, because I'm letting him give you all the info on cost, points, CV tomorrow, because I gotta give him some thunder on the stage, right? <laughs> um, we, have a, we have a dedicated support team that will be answering emails. We have a dedicated toll for, that's not toll for, we have a dedicated phone number specifically for Chroma Credit Restoration. Make sure you write this number down, it's important. And then again, we will have documents um, probably next week at some point on the service under my top5links.com for you guys to share with um, customers. Okay? So I think we've got... What do we have, 15 minutes? We have 15 minutes, exactly. All right, so let's make this, la <coughs> this last 15 minutes effective. Um, I'll give you just some, some highlights, but again, th there's much more reveal tomorrow. Um, we're we're going to come to market with this product at $89 per month to the consumer. I know that sounds like a lot, but we have a competitive matrix, and that competitive matrix shows that our competitors who are in this space charge between 129 a month, some up to $2,000 up front, right? Those of you that have gone through the process can testify and, 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 and let, let your colleagues know. But 
$89 a month with a one-time $50 setup. Okay? Let's talk about how much we make, because that's what everybody's in here for. The best part. There's a $20 bounty <laughs> for every deal, and there's a $20 per month CV. <laughs> Unheard of. We just talked about how long these customers last. Eight to nine months of that $20 CV will have a huge impact on your checks, right? Again, I'll emphasize sell the platform correctly. You'll see that we've built a lot of tools to make good financial decisions, plus the credit repair platform. It's a compelling value proposition. You'll see that as I compare ourselves to some of our competitors. We'll get into that, that tomorrow. Um, but the best way really to learn from this is sign yourself up initially, right? Those of you that, that have a poor credit profile, try this out, use it yourself, you'll gain an enormous amount of confidence from it. Let me talk about some marketing do's and don'ts. This is a tough business to get into. Why? Because it's heavily regulated by every single state. We had to go through a, a, a regulatory process with every state to get permission to operate in each of the respective states. And so uh, these governing bodies are concerned about, there's a lot of snake oil that's sold in this business, right? And, and, and uh, we, want, we want it to have a compelling value proposition that actually works. And we think we've, we know we've built that. As you go out and you get a customer, first of all, you're gonna get a customer, they're gonna sign up. Immediately, tell them, tell your customer, when you pull up your credit score, take a snapshot, take a screenshot of your credit score. Because three months, four months from now, they're gonna start seeing that climb and they're gonna be excited about it, right? They can take another screenshot as their credit score goes up. It's okay for your customer to do a before and after screenshot and share it socially with their friends. <coughs> they can do that. What is not okay is for you to share your customer's credit score on social media. Did everybody get that? Yeah. We, wouldn't, we wouldn't share each other's, I wouldn't share Beth's dental records or medical records online. Why? Because they're private. But if I wanted to show my dental records for whatever reason, <laughs> no, no, yeah, and plenty of cavities, um, I could do that. So, so how can we get in trouble? by sharing somebody else's credit scores online. Do not do that. But, in, but certainly encourage your customers to do it. Now let me tell you why they want to do it. This is a free with five product. So, So, so as a free with five product, I want you to follow me on this beautiful cycle that we see happening. You sign somebody up for credit score for for credit restoration at eighty nine dollars, right? And then you say to them, you know, that eighty nine could be free if you go get five of your friends. So they go out and get one friend, then they go out and get two friends, and then you have this conversation with them, which is, you know you could make $20 every month on each of your friends. So the conversation evolves from a credit restoration customer to the opportunity. We're, we're seeing competitors, we're seeing a, a one particular competitor in 
this marketplace with just credit restoration boarding 3,500 to 4,000 representatives a month. This, when I tell you this is a powerful game changer for Five Links, this is a game changer, right? So I've got much more to reveal tomorrow. Don't want to give too much away, but with, with our 10 minutes, what I'd like to do is open up to some Q&A. And um, if you could line up to the front here with your respective questions, we'll, we'll pass you the mic. Thank you. Uh, how does uh, our uh, credit restoration compare with uh, other companies? Do they have kind of the same platforms that we have, or we have something that might be a little bit more unique? So we have an exact slide tomorrow that uh, is a competitive matrix that shows you item by item, company by company, how much they charge, what line items they have. You'll get details on that. Awesome. We're better. Is it on? Okay. <laughs> good morning, good morning, good morning. Um, thank you so much for this great opportunity and all this great information. And I hope you get your voice back Beth because can't, I can't see but you know what I need to hear you um, anyway um, and Faraj you're awesome always anyway um, Sabrina Fraser Long Island New York let's give it up for New York yay okay um, my question is all right if it's um, okay my husband and I you know we have a mortgage okay and um, Sometimes he's late on the mortgage, okay? All right. He's messing up my credit because I know I'm great. Because um, I looked it up. So what do we do? Because, all right, restoration, do we do, do we both, would I have to basically sign myself up and him as well? Or is it together as a family? Like, what do we do? Because... The mortgage is really what I'm concerned about. Nothing else. My, my you know, credit cards, I pay on time and everything is great. But um, I don't know about him. I don't know. But, you know, so what do we do? So let's, let's talk about that. That's a great question. Thanks, Sabrina. Thank you. So, so the question was, um, you know, if you have a couple and both are on the mortgage, will both have to go through the credit restoration process? And the answer is yes, because both of your social security numbers are tied to that mortgage. Both of you are being negatively impacted by you know any discrepancies in your your, your payment history um, so that's that's actually a positive oftentimes when you speak with a husband or a wife you'll be able to sign both of them up um, at that that rate as well let's next question so I have two questions the first one is simple I just want you to repeat the bounty and the second question is on the debt um, calculation does it automatically put in, pull in those numbers from your, from your credit report as far as when it's showing you how to pay stuff off? Sure, so let's talk about that. So, uh, the, the, in answer to your fr first question, the bounty, when you sell the $89 credit restoration uh, product, the bounty is $20 one time, and then the CV is $20 every month, right? And then um, in answer to your question, the. Your, your credit agency is actually behind on knowing the exact amount. You'll know more accurately the exact amount based on the balances you get from the debtors, so you, you'll, you'll be required to manually enter those. Sure. I use Credit Pros and they were great. So how does this differ for Credit Pros and what happens now? Sure, so, so um, Credit Pros is actually one of many vendors behind this product. They serve several functions within this platform that we've built. But what we've done is we've aggregated a number of tools, a number of, of benefits under one brand, which is our, our own brand, the Chroma brand. Um, and it's a, a, a more valued, it's a, it's a more white label process, meaning all the dialogue with vendors and creditors is automated. Uh, you're not required to do any of the mailings and, and, and dialogue with the creditors. Yeah. <coughs> And you get paid. Yes. <laughs> I was from Zora. <laughs> um, well, I just want to say, I use Credit Pros also. This is actually cheaper than Credit Pros. So that's, that's a, a plus right off the bat. But I actually, before I did 
credit pros, I tried to go through another program and they did all the paperwork. They looked at my, my credit score or my credit report. And what they did was they took all of these, uh, these debtors and they were trying to have me sign um, an affidavit saying that it was fraud. And I told him, I said, these are my debtors. And he said, well, that's just the way we do business. That's just, that's, that's typical. And I said, no, sure. I'm not going to do it. So this is, this is part of the snake oil that, you know, I, I described that's out in the business. Um, you, you know, with, with more and more regulations, like uh, we're, we're seeing as a, as a function of, of getting in this business, we think those behaviors are going to be reduced. But um, let, me, let me tell you what this isn't. If you really have a bankruptcy and that bankruptcy was legit, this isn't going to wipe it out. We're not going to misrepresent the product in any sort of way. All right, good morning. <laughs> it was my list. Anyway, um, my question is with regard, with regard to marketing. It was a lot of information here, a whole lot. So I'm wondering what kind of tools are going to be provided for us to be able to get that information to our customers. We can do the studying, but they're not going to take all that time. Yep, we're going to have, sorry, we're going to have, um, I can't even talk anymore. It's gone. We're going to have marketing materials. And we have the videos. We're, we're, we're going to have plenty of videos and marketing materials. <laughs> uh, uh, my question is about the credit pros. Credit pros is part of our uh, platinum discount network, which we each representative get it for free. Sure. Aside from CV and bounty, do we get discount as a member of five links a representative of five links yeah just so you're aware so with the launch of this product we withdrew credit pros from within pdn it's no longer available as of august so this is if you want a credit restoration product this is the way to get it for yourself yeah and by the way the, just just for comparison zora's pointing out the, the, the credit pros offering used to be $99 per month and you didn't get paid on it. Now we have a much more robust offering at $89 a month and you get paid on it. 